United Talks Education. Let us continue with electrochemistry and we are on what we call the electrochemical or the voltaic cell and we had seen an electrochemical cell in which we were having a zinc rod and a copper rod both dipped in dilute sulfuric acid two molar in concentration and the, the two rods were connected using a connecting wire bearing a voltmeter. So let us look at an improved version of the electrochemical cell and it is what we call the Daniel cell. It is what we call the Daniel cell. Look at the Daniel, it is having double L. So, in this case, we still go with what we had seen before with the original version of the electrochemical cell. So, here we are also, let me use a different ink color, we are also having a zinc rod and then a copper rod Now, instead of being dipped just in one electrolyte, like it was with only dilute sulfuric acid or tumular sulfuric acid, in this case, this copper rod is dipped in a solution, in a solution of a soluble called salt of copper. In this case, we can use a soluble salt of copper like copper to sulfate, solution. Remember that we can even use copper to chlorate solution and also the fact that all nitrates are soluble in water. We can also use a solution of copper to nitrate. So each metal we are using must be dipped in a solution of a soluble salt of itself which is just soluble in water as you can see. Copper rod dipped in copper 2 sulfate solution. It would be even copper rod dipped in copper 2 chloride solution or a copper rod dipped in copper 2 nitrate solution. Now we are also having this side a zinc rod which is dipped in zinc sulfate solution. A zinc rod dipped in zinc sulfate solution. So copper 2 sulfate solution and zinc sulfate solution. Now the question becomes, how can they be in the same container? There is this structure here. This one is what we call a porous wall or what we call a porous pot. Let's call it a porous partition in this case. A porous party Sure. So, this is how one of the Daniel cells can look like. It is an improved version of the electrochemical cell. Then, let us look at this one here. This one looks to be a bit different. Still, let us have this one here being a copper rod. And this one here becomes our zinc rod. These are metals which occupy is different positions in the reactivity series. So zinc is more reactive than copper, just like as we had seen. Now, this copper rod is supposed to be in a solution of a soluble salt of copper. In this case, let us again use our copper to sulfate solution. So we can use copper to sulfate solution and also with the zinc rod, we are going to use also a soluble salt of zinc. We shall use its solution. We can now use also zinc sulfate solution. Now, we have this structure here which connects the two uh, solutions together. This one here is called a salt bridge. So this one is a salt bridge, a salt bridge. I think we can see from here that we are separating the two solutions. And in this case, we have separated the two solutions using 
a porous wall or a porous partition. So the porous wall or the porous partition serves the purpose of separating these two solutions. And then, two, it also helps to complete the circuit. It makes sure that there is transfer of electrons or the transfer or the movement of current rather from one half cell to another so that it is continuous without stopping somewhere. Now here instead of the two solutions being separated instead here they are connected using what we call the salt bridge. So I will tell you what a salt bridge is in this case. Let us also try to label this one here or we try to name it rather here we have what we call a porous pot but this one here becomes our zinc rod and this one here is made up of a copper can a copper can or copper can so this copper can here serves as an electrode now because we are not using a copper rod but we are using a copper can which is also metallic in this case and then it serves the purpose of being an electrode now this solution we are seeing here in the solution which is in contact with the copper can is our copper to sulfate solution and then inside this uh, inside this porous pot where there is a zinc rod we also have zinc sulfate solution so we can see that these are the connecting wires and the connecting wires are having a voltmeter. So they are bearing a voltmeter, which will show whether some electrical energy has been generated or not in this case. So let us not forget, these are what we call the Daniel cells, different versions. Now, from what we have here, we can see that from what we have in this case, we are having a zinc rod dipped in zinc sulfate solution and then we are having copper rod dipped in copper 2 sulfate solution or a zinc rod dipped in zinc sulfate solution and a copper rod dipped in copper 2 sulfate solution here the two the two solutions are separated using the porous wall or the porous partition here the two solutions are joined using a salt bridge and here the two solutions are separated using the porous pot in this case, which is which we are having here. So these arrangements here make us to, to have two different half cells. What we call half cells. So we are having this half cell where there is a zinc rod dipped in zinc sulfate solution. It forms what we call a zinc half cell and here we have got the copper rod dipped in copper two sulfate solution so it forms what we call the copper half cell in the whole of this electrochemical cell the daniel cell we have two half cells so the two half cells make a full cell even here we have the copper i mean say we have the zinc half cell and then the copper half cell with the two half cells being joined by what we call a salt bridge and then the, here also we have got a zinc sulfate i mean a zinc half cell here and then the copper half cell here and the two half cells are separated using the porous pot so let us now try to see what we have in this modified version or an improved version of the electrochemical cell this is an improved version or it is a modified electrochemical cell of the
the electrochemical cell. So, let me try to make sure that I use a half of this board. It consists of a zinc rod, a zinc, let me say a zinc half cell. Consisting of a zinc rod dipped in zinc sulfate solution and a copper rod consisting of a copper rod dipped in copper to sulfate solution. The two rods are joined using a connecting wire bearing a voltmeter and the two half cells are either separated using porous partition or a porous pot or they are joined or they are joined using a salt bridge or they are joined using a salt bridge so uh, I want us to be able to know this as points to note one Any solution of a soluble salt of the metal used as the any solution of a soluble salt of the metal used as the electrode can be used as an electrolyte. And then two, the salt bridge is made up of an absorbent material like a thick paper thick paper soft 
in concentrated potassium nitrate solution. So this one we should not forget. This is what the salt bridge is made up of. It is made up of a piece of paper which is thick. It can be spiraled and then firstly soaked in concentrated potassium nitrate solution because it is a very good conductor of electricity since it contains free ions. And then two, we say that we can use any solution of a soluble salt of the metal being used as the electrode to be, we can use it as an electrolyte. That means in this case, we can use the chlorides of these metals, solutions of their chlorides or their nitrates. They can work, but not the carbonates because the carbonates of copper and zinc are both insoluble in water. So this is what we call the Daniel cell. So in our next session, we are going to see how it operates and the reaction equations involved. Tech Talks Education, thank you for